Players' Championship obviously starting immediately this week and uh, a lot of emphasis on Rory McIlroy and uh, people uh, think that uh, he's going to win it and uh, he's got all the ability to win it and then when he doesn't win it people over here some of them describe him as a failure and that, that's, that's a bit harsh that isn't it? That's crazy yeah because if you saw how good Rory was and you watched him in the flesh you'd realise the guy's not a failure he's a phenomenon and I think Harrington made a great comment last year he talked about how if you want consistency in any sport in golf we know that as golfers and as coaches, you can't, have, you can't play at the very top level all the time. It's not possible to play your very best all the time. So if you want consistency, you have to settle for mediocrity. And would you rather Rory be mediocre, mediocre and have 10 top 10s a year and one win? Or would you like to see him shine two, three times a year and win by eight shots? I'd far rather see the Rory who can you know, obliterate fields and do what Tiger did for many years. So to call him a failure, I think, is way off the mark when you see how good he is and what he can do. In regards to the players this, this week, I don't know if I would pick him for that course because having played it, Sawgrass is quite a narrow um, strate- strategy course where the greens are small and it might suit a good chipper of the ball, a guy who can put it in play like Matt Kuchar or Fred Funk won there. Um, if you go down through the years, you get guys who can tend to place their golf ball and um, put the Bermuda greens and chip the Bermuda the grass around the greens as good as anybody who can hit it through the air and can dominate a softer golf course like Rory. We all tend to put pressure on um, our top players because we all want them to win, and I suppose that's where the whole talk of, you know, whenever they don't, we're all disappointed. But I, I, I'm going to have to name drop. I was at an event last week with Paul McGinley, talked about him. He talked about the consistency of McElroy, the top 10 finishes, mm-hmm. the things you're saying there. But he wouldn't be your tip then for the Players' Championship. I mean, if you told me Rory on Sunday evening had played really well at Sawgrass, I'd say, well, he's, he's, he's a good enough player to have won. Same as Tiger did. I think Tiger, they did a stat in Tiger at his peak, that he was the only player who could play his B game and win. Even Mickelson and Scott and Vijay had to play their A game, meaning had to be on, on that week. But Rory's one of those players, I think he's a marquee player. He can um, not play on four cylinders, but he can play a little bit less than his best and still come through sometimes. However, the, the Sawgr- Sawgrass is one of the best fields in golf. It's known traditionally as a fifth major, so it's going to be hard if he doesn't play his best to win there. But I wouldn't pick him straight away, although he might have something very big in the horizon, maybe at Pinehurst, at Muirfield Village. Of course, it's a bit softer and one that he's had a bit of success on before. And Johnny, who would you pick then if you think, you know, if you were giving an indication to some of the viewers and the people who might be looking to punt on McLean's, who, who would you uh, actually tip for it? I would say I think Donald's a good bet. Maybe Graham, somebody who can place the way around the course and somebody who can uh, score through wedges on the par fives. So some of the par fives are either of water or sand around the front of them. So you either have to have a game to go for it, like a Stenson, or somebody who can be very clever from 100 yards in. And a bit like a major, you have to be patient because the scoring's going to be low, it's going to be set up hard, and you'll have a very good field. So you will get guys like a Billy Haas, these people who can fire off very quickly, and you tend to think you're being lapped, but you're not because it's done. Golf's a marathon, as we know, it's not a sprint. So somebody who can, uh, has patience, somebody who can strategise and somebody who can score well from around the greens. So if you had a bad tenor, who would you put it on? I would say Donald. I'd go for a look. I think he get, usually gets the most out of his game. He started working with a guy called Chuck Cook, who seems to have helped his long game, which you need around Sawgrass. And he's always had that great touch around the greens. His putting, when he gets going, is uh, mesmeric.